Now they said this fight was potentially going to be fight of the night, and I was really uh, skeptical of it, but definitely it lived up to what we all expected it to be. What a crazy war it was. Anthony Pettis ends up giving up, throwing the white flag after breaking his right hand or left hand. And in, in this fight, he, he had his moments. He was able to hurt Tony Ferguson, but Tony Ferguson was able to just keep a steady pressure on um, Anthony Pettis that Anthony just couldn't really do well uh, against. Anthony Pettis is just the same mistake that happened early on in his career is just getting pressured. If when he ever, whenever he gets pressured, Anthony jo Anthony Pettis just is not the same fighter that he is when he's just having that 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 freedom to move freely. He just doesn't have that when he's being pressured. Tony Ferguson did very well. Um, he just came forward. He had a lot of punches. He you know he got dropped, but he just kept the pressure on Tony um, on Anthony Pettis and sliced them up with the with those elbows that you know it was pretty nasty ferguson landed so many elbows that really at the end of the fight anthony pettis was looking like he's wearing a, a crimson mask now what does this mean for anthony um, tony ferguson i hope he's gonna fight um the winner of poirier versus diaz or you know have a rematch with uh, kevin lee and um surely down the line, we're going to have to see him fight Conor or Habib, you know, the winner of that fight. But definitely, Conor Habib definitely, for sure, is a fight that's going to happen in the near future for Tony Ferguson. He's 34 years old. Um, he's getting up there in age, probably two, three, four more years. And um, then that's going to be it for Tony Ferguson, I think. But what did you guys think of the video? 